Welcome back. Welcome back to the show. We'll be right with you. My microphone just fell off. Come on, I was showing. Is it all right? Does it? Can you see it? <laughs> Were you even laughing at that? I, anyway, I was, show, I was showing Jeff chair pose. <laughs> oh, that's how it's done. Yes. Let me get on. All right. Go on. <laughs> My uh, first guest is a very beautiful actress. She does the show uh, Prime Suspect Thursdays on NBC. <laughs> Take a look. Oh, no! <laughs> no, she's allowed. Just leave it. First of all, you do look sensational, I have to Thanks. say. But okay. I, we're trying to be professional tonight. And you just want you don't just wander out, you have to wait until I introduce you. You don't just go wander out and go, oh, is it my turn? No. <laughs> I'm like a working mom. I've been working for 14 hours. I had Halloween last night, the sumo costume got like a hole in it from a rose bush. It was a whole thing. You you were wearing a sumo costume? No, Jackson was wearing oh, a right. sumo costume. Right. What did you wear? Right. I wore nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I'm sure that was very popular. <laughs> you should have come trick-or-treating round to Jeff and I. Uh, we would have entertained you, right, Jeff? No, oh, yeah, mostly tricks. <laughs> nice Although to it... see you, Jeff. Oh, nice to see you, too. Yeah. <laughs> the hell? <laughs> we have a thing. Yeah, I can tell. Yeah, Looks like you're going to Rio thing. together. What? <laughs> <laughs> she should wear a mustache. <laughs> He said, he said you'd have to wear a mustache. He's gay, you oh. see. And, and so, you know, the thing that you may have for him, he may not have one for you. Unless you wear a mustache. It, tends, yeah. it tends to work that way. Well, I don't know. Uh, look, um, how are you? How's the show? Uh, that looks great. You beat up dead guys, or somebody does in the show. It's really funny. As you can see, Jane has a, a real attitude. Not a, not a lot of uh, empathy. But well, she gets a kick out of it. Well, what? I mean, aren't there a lot of people you would like to just... Well, not once they're dead, you know. I mean, <laughs> Only when they're alive. Well, yeah, I mean, I, I think, you know, once someone's actually, you know, shuffled off this mortal coil, then I think, you know, it, you should cut them some slack on their behavior. Uh, you know, in the sense of you don't really need to beat up people who are dead. It's kind of been done for you, you know. <laughs> Good point. Yeah, no, it is. You wear a hat on this show, I've noticed. You wear a hat a lot. I do wear a hat on the show. Yeah, which is a shame because you've got such a lovely head. Well, thank you. But it's been such a big deal. It's funny. I, I, I thought, like, this hat represents this character. Like, she has an attitude. And yeah. when you have a hat on as a woman, it's an attitude. And oh, so, no. you know, it makes you feel like you have an attitude. Do you know what I mean? Do you feel like you have an attitude? <laughs> no, it looks like I've got a giant head. <laughs> Hat's too too small. <laughs> it's a it's a shame you wear it. Yeah, I, let me see that. No, it's nice. It looks good. I, it no, but like it's, I'm surprised that you chose to wear a hat because you're famous for your head. I am. <laughs> oh, God. For God's sake! What? I can't believe you're telling Everybody me in that. Hollywood thinks your head is fantastic, man. <laughs> Don't listen to this man. Oh, I'm just saying. She wears a hat because you've got great head. <laughs> <laughs> How have things been? How have we, what have you been up to? You've been working all the time? You've really been 14-hour days on this thing? I'm working like a crazy person. Well, what the hell? Really? I showed up here a half hour ago, and I wanted them to take a picture. I was wearing overalls, like no makeup, black circles under my eyes, and I thought, every woman in America should see this. When they see a celebrity woman coming out, like, oh, my God, I want hair like that. Guess what? Hire a makeup artist for, like, $5 million an hour. Yeah. How about that? <laughs> You know, you, you can see your uh, you can see your uh, your body there. Can you see that? Yeah. <laughs> what do you think of that? Yeah. Oh, it's a it's a line. Oh, I thought it was your actual body. No. I was like, whoa, that's daring. Because if I was up too high, hello, ladies. But it's fine. I I 
thought it was your actual poem series. You I did? Was, yes! No, it's very fashionable. It's yeah, like, no, I know. Little I, line. Well, I don't know. I don't know what's fashionable, not fashionable. I, I, I still haven't seen the last part of Project Runway this season. You haven't? No. I'm sorry to hear it. No, well, I, it's on my DVR. I'll watch it soon. DVR is a, a tool that people use to watch this show, actually. I do. <laughs> yeah. I How do are the folks at NBC treating you? Are they all right? Do you know they're fantastic? Oh, stop lying. No, I swear. Really? <laughs> Am I supposed to say that? But I want to say that. Like, they've been so supportive of our show and creative. You don't find an hour show where you get to just play on set and make... Crikey. That, that would, I, crikey. Least I've never heard of such a thing. <laughs> Like, it would be amazing if you got an hour of network television, Maria, to just do whatever I think you wanted. That, that would... What is that? You yeah, it'd be crazy. It'd be crazy. Like, what network would allow you that freedom? <laughs> great job. I, I, I do love my job. I do. I mean, yes, it's, you, uh, you know, I, I, I get to meet you. And, and your new baby, who you're probably not sleeping because you're he, yeah, he's, exhausted. He's, uh, he's, he's, quite, uh, he's quite the vocalist. <laughs> what does that mean? He's loud. He's a loud one. His brother was not loud. I mean, my, my oldest boy is the same age as your boy, yeah, but, but, but the new one, Liam, is uh, he's very, uh, he's much louder than his brother was. I thought they were all the same. Apparently that's not the case. <laughs> I've heard they're not. I've seen a lot of episodes of uh, Teletubbies now that I'd forgotten I'd seen, and then, God, I... That's painful, oh, man. Oh, yeah. Like, you know, that ding, 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 I'm like, I don't want... I think my, my, my boy Jackson was the only kid ever who, at one and a half years old, he looked at the TV at the purple dinosaur and he went, <laughs> oh no, he wasn't the only one. No. Milo too. No, Milo's all right with the purple dinosaur, but when I saw the purple dinosaur, I was like, "Oh, I want one!" And, <laughs> Jeff was and there you like are. That. I kind of got. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, do you miss that, though? Because he's grown up now. You're kind of like... Because I've noticed with, with Milo, it's kind of like, I'm not really that important anymore. It's kind of like, yeah, whatever, Dad. It's true. We're whole, we're in the whole middle uh, uh, middle school phase, yeah, right? Yeah, they're in the tween... The, so the, now, well, there's going to be tweens. Tweens. They'll be tweens, yeah. Yeah, I don't like do you, that. Well, no, that's all because they watch this show called iCarly. Have you ever watched that show? Oh, a lot. It's hilarious! I like that it's show! It's actually really good! Miranda like, I was Cosgrove. like, I'm not watching this, but there's that guy in it who plays Carly's brother. He's a He's and then, like this. I know. The whole time. He's like that all the time. And then there's the guy that comes on and goes, Gibby, because his name's Gibby. That's genius. It's pretty genius. It's, have you had them on your show? No, I have. No, it would be creepy if they came on this show because I'm like a creepy old man. And then right. they're, they're like, I mean, you can handle it. You're a grown, mature, sophisticated woman. But if these kids come on, I'd be like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> and they'd be like, oh no. They'd be filing police reports. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, <laughs> would they? Maybe. Well, then I better not have them on, I suppose. But, but they, oh, they wouldn't come here anyway. They, they'll go and do, you know, young shows like uh, Gabba Gabba. Or, uh, Gabba Gabba? I don't know. Yo Gabba Gabba in that one? Yeah. You know. know. I'm just like you, young people, except older. <laughs> right, well, we're out of time. So uh, what do you fancy? Mouth organ, awkward pause. Uh, I've got some vegetarian haggis, or you can... Uh... What's vegetarian haggis? Oh, it, it, it used to be in my TARDIS, but it seems to have gone. Um, yeah, I don't see it there. No, have you got it there? Throw it out. No, throw right. it, Ron. Throw it. Right. There you go. Look, vegetarian haggis from McSween's in Edinburgh. It's haggis, but it contains no sheep parts. It's, <laughs> it's so wrong for me. Well, that is wrong for me. Well, it's vegetarian, isn't it? You're a vegetarian? Yeah, no, I'm not. Oh, well, you won't want Not to interested. <laughs> You want to go for the big cash prize then? Yes, let's go for the cash right, prize. A lot of celebrities want to go for the cash prize, and that's because they're greedy and selfish. Uh, <laughs> so uh, here you are, uh, 50, $50 in singles, acceptable okay, at any strip club in these Damn. United States. All you have to do is answer one question. Uh, one question. Okay, okay, here it is. Iceland is in the North Atlantic. Its capital city <laughs> is Reykjavik. Big Bertha, the longest living cow on record, finally died in 1993. Within five years, how old was she when she died? How old was the oldest cow who ever lived? Can you repeat the question? Oh my God. <laughs> Big Bertha, the longest living cow on record, finally died in 1993. Within five years, how old was she when she died? Within five years? Wait, I don't it doesn't mean, well, you answer the question within five years. It means within... <laughs>
<laughs> you know, five years either side, how old do you think the cow, the cow was when, when she died? Uh, 16. Come on, cows, cows live more than that. How long do they live? How do you know? I, because I've got the answer right here. <laughs> Would you have a cow farm in Scotland? Yeah, yeah, that's right. I had a cow farm when I worked up the chimneys. I'd work up the chimneys, then I'd get down and, and feed my cows soot. Cheap cows, <laughs> feed the cows chicken. soot from the chimneys. <laughs> 48, 48. Uh, uh, try 48. Okay, 48. Yes, the correct answer! 48!